Hey everybody, so in today's video, I hydro dip my Skechers foam, Lloyd memory foam sneakers, okay? Supplies I use, easy marble marable paint, gloves, bucket, warm water, and sneakers. Yes, they're worn. I didn't want to hydro dip on anything that was new because if I didn't like it, they would have been very upset and I would have wasted a good pair of sneakers, you know? You know, you're trying it out, you're taking a risk, you're going for it. So therefore, that is what I did, okay? Now, I used about four to five colors, white, red, blue, black, and yellow. And that's about it, you don't need a lot. Like, Hydro Dipping 101, honestly, is really simple. You need a bucket, fill that bucket up with some water. You wanna make sure your item, when you dip it, right, it doesn't touch the bottom or the side, so you wanna have enough space for whatever it is that you're dipping. Do not make the water hot. I've done it. I've done it and it messed up your whole vibe. The paint does not disperse on top of the water. It creates little dots of paint. You don't want that. So you do not want your water to be hot. You do, however, want your water to be warm, not cold either, so warm. That's basically the best temperature to have your water at. And then you begin your dipping, whatever colors you wanna use. Now, this is easier for me, it's less, less toxic. You still can wear like a respirator, you know, or a mask, um, but the fumes are not terrible at all. You can open your windows, if any, to let those fumes out. From my research and following, YouTube University, I have been told to dip the toe of the sneaker in first. The first sneaker is going in. I am keeping my fingers crossed because I was praying that it would be amazing. Ah. Ah. I am loving this so much and a little bit of white because the sneaker is already white so i didn't want to have the white overpower it but i did want to get some design in on my sneaker and i just shoved plastic bags in the center inside the sneaker just so that i wouldn't get the hydro dip on the inside but when you see my next hydro dip of the other sneakers i did i really didn't care but i love it i love it i love it out but again, it's simple. I created these earrings. My abstract earrings, okay? Love it. I would have wanted more on the sole of the sneaker, but I know that that is because I did not really submerge the sneaker all the way into the water. And what I would have done is added more water just to make sure that when I submerge the sneaker inside the water that the uh, sneaker does not touch the bottom of the bucket so something I'm gonna do going forward I try mentally to lay down the colors the same way I did the first one but I did not write that down so it's fine I wasn't too concerned that the sneakers would be different I, I'm fine with that I used to actually like when you can buy the same brand sneaker, but it'd be two types of sneakers, like two types of designs on the sneaker. I've always liked that. I'll always love Mitch Mac sneakers and things like that. So this kind of reminded me of that possibility. So if it didn't come out looking completely like the other sneaker, I was fine with that. Like I already feel like obviously the cut of color pattern is not gonna come out the same as my first sneaker, which is which is fine. But I just enjoy this process. I It just gives you such an abstract feel and vibe on whatever it is you are hydro dipping, marbleizing. I, I just think it's so much fun and I like to be able to wear that. That one is more ashier than the other. Okay, so, or light skinned it. Like this, which one is this? This one is the more vibrant color. I don't know if you can tell. This is more vibrant and the color on here is a little bit more lighter. I wanna even say ashier per se, and I'm not, not sure why that is.
did not spray this with any clear sealer at the end, so it's just what it is. I've stepped in water, it's been fine. Now I can paint the bottom if ever I felt so inclined to do so, to have a white bottom sole of a sneaker, but I've decided not to. Now I've gotten these sneakers from my local thrift store right around my block, okay? Again, like I said, I didn't want to try this on something very expensive, something that I enjoy wearing. All right, just because I didn't like it, I'll just throw it away, try again. That's the one thing that I do like about art is you have the ability to try it until you get something that you like. Um, it is extremely therapeutic. I love blending, mixing, and all that, and uh, marbling allows you to do that. There's some control you have in the color that you pick, but you really can't control necessarily how they co-mingle together, right, around each other, and I think that's what is so dope. Definitely smash the like button if you're getting anything out of this video. Definitely share the video and leave a comment like, why not, why not? I think this summer has been a summer of me hydro dipping things and I have more hydro dipping videos to come. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, and you can do this. You can create a hydro dip sneaker like this. Now for me, it's best to me to do it on a canvas-like sneaker. But I have not done it on a leather sneaker just yet, but I plan to do so, and I will definitely share that with you all. Okay, and if you're interested in me hydro dipping something else, drop a comment below, and I'll see what I can do to get access to that. And if I can, I'm gonna just let you know I can't do it, I can't do it. But I'm gonna hydro dip some other things in my house, of course, that my husband is okay with, or not, but I'll ask, you know. I'll ask to see if he's okay with these things, but. I'll see you at my next video. Don't forget to click the link over there.